The Honourable Member Athabasca Sturgeon Redwater. Oh, all right. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Joni Mitchell famously sang, Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone? Luckily, that isn't always true. There are very few places in the world that are easily accessible, have world class IT infrastructure, and yet are pristine enough for the most delicate of optical and magnetic observations. The Long and Narrow Lakes area in Athabasca County is such a place. This is where you will find the Athabasca University Geophysical Laboratory, where Dr. Martin Connors, in cooperation with scholars from around the world, does vitally important research in the aurora borealis and mag into magnetic fields. It shows just how important locating research universities such as AU in rural areas can be, and also how unique this place really is. Dr. Connors is well aware of this fact, which is why he has joined others in the community to form the Long and Narrow Lake Stewardship Society, who are advocating for strong ecological protections for the area. This area features two of the most pristine lakes you will find in our province, and this group intends to keep it that way now and for future generations. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to recognize my dear friends Albert and Perko Carbon, renowned documentary makers, ecologists, and naturalists. They are working tirelessly to protect the irreplaceable natural area around Amisk Lake near Boyle. The Carbonants have generously set up a conservation easement on their land and are working with Alberta Environment to have the adjacent Crown land protected for its vital wildlife corridor. Mr. Speaker, it is my great honour to work with such responsible and visionary people. Here. People who know what we've got and want to ensure future generations will have the chance to know that too. Alberta is in your debt. Thank you. Here.